Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Dave. And in this Magento Basics tutorial, you're going to learn how to merge your CSS and JavaScript files in Magento. And a quick note, Matt, you're also going to learn why you'd want to do that. <laughs> Indeed. So let's jump across to our desktop and we'll explain why and we'll show you how to combine these or merge them. So Dave, I've been a come across to our Magento website and we're using the Ultimo theme, but it really doesn't matter which theme we're using because Magento out of the box has all the CSS files and all the JavaScript files separated in the HTML in the background. Now, the easiest way to explain this is to actually show you. So I'm going to right click on this page and choose view page source. Now, if you're using Firefox or Internet Explorer, just right click and there'll be a view source option in there. Now, if I scroll down, can you see all of these files in here, Dave? Yes, I'm seeing a lot of text slash CSS and text slash JavaScript. That's right. Now, the thing is, is that there's two settings in Magento which will allow you to combine all of these files into one file. Now, you may be thinking, why would I want to do that? And the answer is purely down to speed, is that it's going to be much quicker for your customers to download one larger file rather than 20 plus separate files just for CSS and maybe 15, 20 files for JavaScript. So it's all about speed for this reason, Dave. Yep. So let's go and find where that setting is in Magento, and it's really straightforward, Dave. So let's go across to our dashboard, and we're going to go to System, down into Configuration, and Dave, these settings are hiding right down at the bottom. So if we scroll, or if you scroll, right down to the bottom of your Configuration page, and the tab which you're after, or the section you're after, is called Developer on the left-hand side. So click into Developer, so let me just collapse those for you. And you're after the last two options, which is the JavaScript settings and the CSS settings. Now, where it says merge JavaScript files, you'll want to change that from no to yes. For the CSS settings, you'll want to change that from no to yes, and then press save config. Now, Dave, that's the really easy part, but there's one other thing which we need to go and do, which is to clear out our caches in Magento. And if we don't do that, we go back to our Magento website and it will still be the same. Now, this is really simple. Go to System, then go down to Cache Management from the menu. Then on the left-hand side, you want to click on Select Tool, and then submit. So that clears out all the blocks. And again, general practice, if you're ever coming in to this section, you want to go and clear them out. And the other reason why I'm doing this, Dave, is can you see that we've got a full page cache extension enabled on our site? Now, we don't know if you've got a plugin like that or extension installed. So that's why we've shown you how to do that extra step. But the button which you're really after is down here at the bottom. It's called flush JavaScript forward slash CSS cache. And that's really important because if you make any changes to any of the CSS or the JavaScript files on your website and you go back to your website and go, oh, that change didn't happen. And the reason for that is that you need to come into here and click on flush JavaScript and CSS cache. And you'll see it's really, really quick to happen. Now, if we go back to our Magento website and I'm going to open up the home page on a new tab so we can do side by side comparison there, Dave. Yep. Now, if I right click and do view page source again, wait for this to load. Ah, look, you'll see that we've only got a couple of CSS files and then one JS file in here. So that's obviously going to be much quicker for Magento to go and find the files and open them opposed to like 50 files, which it had before. Yeah, but it's not necessarily Magento. It's for your customer who is browsing your Magento website. So instead of them having to download, I don't know, 50 files, which we had before, it's now only a small number of files. And because it's a less number of files, it means that your website is going to load faster. So let's just do a side by side comparison. That's the tab before we had lots of files. Now the tab which we've got after, they've now been combined. So while we're navigating our Magento website, 
is that it means that this website is now going to load much, much more quickly for your customers. And obviously, that's a good thing. So with that said, from myself, Matt. And from me, Dave. Cheerios. So from myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We hope that you found this video tutorial helpful. If you have, then let us know by leaving a thumbs up on this video below or subscribing to our YouTube channel. We believe to use Magento, you don't need a degree in Nerd, and we've created you over 300 step-by-step -step video tutorials at understandinge.com to help you. In these tutorials, you'll learn how to use Magento with no prior knowledge. How to build a fully responsive Magento website for just $99, which is about 65 quid. How you can use Magento to sell on eBay and Amazon with M2E Pro. And you'll be joined by over 6,000 fellow business owners just like you. And the best part is, it's free to join. So for myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We'll see you there. Cheerios.